every day in more than 45 countries, photovoltaic modules designed and manufactured by First Solar go to work, converting sunlight into clean, reliable electricity. First Solar is the only American company ranked among the world's top 10 solar manufacturers. The company's headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona, but its roots are in Ohio, where it operates the largest solar manufacturing footprint in the Western Hemisphere, a footprint that is soon to get even bigger. More than half of First Solar's 2,700 U.S. employees are located in Ohio. I'm joined by Mike Korolewski, Chief Manufacturing Operations Officer for First Solar. Mike, welcome to Assembly Audible. Thank you, Jennifer. Glad to be here today. Okay, so First Solar's factory in Ohio can turn a sheet of glass into a fully functional photovoltaic module in just four and a half hours, end to end, all under one roof. In contrast, competing products can take days to make. How can you produce modules so quickly? Yeah, so it goes back to the technology differences. You know, our factories are among the most advanced uh, of their kind in the solar industry using technology and process optimization, you know, that effectively competes against, you know, Chinese um, floor panels that are only cheap because they're heavily subsidized by the government. When we think about, you know, how the Chinese pushed monopolize the global supply of solar panels, we need to leapfrog, you know, its industrial dominance and subsidies with American ingenuity and innovation. So we really push on cycle time, throughput, things like that. The key um, to our process is that thin film deposition process that we talked briefly about, um, which is completely different than that of our competitors. Um, in fact, if you think about our process, it's actually more similar to making a flat screen TV than a, uh, a crystalline silicon uh, solar panel. Um, we are vertically integrated, um, which helps um, that speed. So we go beginning to end um, we don't have, you know, multiple factories or things like that. We start with that raw sheet of glass, finish with the module in that four and a half hours by using a continuous process um, versus batch processing like our competitors. So, so that, that thin film deposition process being core and then the fact that we are vertically integrated and continuous flow versus batch allows us to move at the speed at which we do. First Solar's Series 6 modules are made using less energy, less water, and less semiconductor material than competing modules. Can you talk more about your company's commitment to responsible solar? Absolutely. So obviously, you know, our vision and mission of, of, of leading the world's sustainable energy future is important to us. And sustainable has been at the heart of everything that we do since the beginning. Um, it's not focused on meeting industry standards. It's um, set on exceeding them and setting new ones for others to follow be, behind. You know, our thin film modules have a carbon footprint that is two and a half times lower than crystalline silicon. Um, our modules are recyclable and actually boost a recovery rate of about 90% uh, of, its, of its value, which includes the semiconductor, the glass, the encapsulant, um, and several other materials. As a matter of fact, the new modules that we're making today actually contain about 10% recycled semiconductor, which is really unique to the uh, photovoltaic industry today. We're one of the only ones that has a recycled content in there. Our approach to responsible solar, you know, continues to be a significant reputational differentiator as well in the solar uh, manufacturing industry, not only from a sustainability aspect, but in the, in the true meaning of responsible solar, we actually um, differentiated ourselves, joined the Responsible Business Alliance, which is one of the largest organizations around today to ensure that transparency of supply chain, really dedicate ourselves um, to this coalition that's dedicated to supporting the rights and well-being of workers and communities, not just in our supply chain, but the whole global supply chain. We were the first and only of the world's 10 uh, largest PV solar manufacturers to do this. So we've aligned ourselves with organizations with visions of creating uh, companies driving sustainable value for not only the workers, the environment, and the business throughout the entire supply chain. So to us, it's not just a tagline, it's actually the way that we conduct our business through all aspects. 
That's really interesting. You touched upon what I was going to ask as a follow-up question, and that is how do people or, you know, the people who work for work for F- First Solar play a role in all of this, but you elaborated on that. Well, actually, I'll take another step. So one of the things that we do, we actually believe in a lot of um, upsource or upskilling of our people. Um, it's very important to us. You know, when you think about um, our existing employees and our new associates, we want them to work and feel like they work in a high tech environment that is safe and clean. They receive good wages and benefits, um, health care, tuition reimbursement, higher education, internal career progression, wellness programs, things like that. We also partner with um, local community colleges, um, universities, and vocational schools to help build the infrastructure um, around so that we can train those people um, effectively to grow into these roles on an ongoing basis. So as our technology advances, we want our people to advance as well. That's great. I think everybody wants to feel like they're contributing and they're proud of what they're part of, you know, and it sounds like you have the formula for that for sure. Would you like to add anything else before we wrap up today? No, I just want to thank you for the time today, Jennifer. It's, it's been a great conversation. And, you know, I think you hit it on the end right there where um, we do believe that our people have something that they can believe in. You know, you look at our mission and our vision and what we're doing, they're actually making a difference every day in the world's climate uh, conditions on an ongoing basis. And they can feel that they did it a the right responsible way at the end of the day, which I think is a great uh, value for any person to go home with at the end of every day. For more insights on assembling discrete parts and to finish products and the people behind it all, visit our website, assemblymag.com. And be sure to subscribe to the podcast to keep up with our latest episodes. We're also on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. So we invite you to follow us there too. This has been Assembly Audible. Thanks for listening. 